so I will talk first. I would like to talk first about the balance of the film because there's a, a whole part of the movie which is set at the beach and involves marriage and it hasn't got a close relationship with the bigger adventure plot. It seems like uh, some small spin-off that then connects with, uh, with that part. I would like to know what are you trying to build there? I mean, are you trying to get uh, a whole new set of characters inside the franchise, human characters? <laughs> No, I think the, the most important thing is it's still family, right? It still relates mm -hmm. to the family that, that Sonic uh, got at the end of the first film. Tom and Maddie, of course, Natasha Rothwell's character, Rachel, uh, was part of the first film. So it, it's really just doing more with what was already there. Uh, I, I definitely don't necessarily think it's, it's going off into to, to different territory. It's just sort of involving all the characters that that I think are very important to the story. I mean, Tom and Maddie are Sonic's parents, right? I think sooner or later, if, if, if part of this movie is about a kid staying home alone and doing all the things he said he wasn't going to do, sooner or later, that kid's got to get busted, right? And I think that's what that scene is about, it, it is the, the the moment that, you, that, that Sonic uh, sort of gets uh, busted by Tom and Maddie. This whole time he's he's been trying to say, oh, yeah, just, you know, I'm just at home. Just, you know, nothing. It's a boring night. Nothing's going on. Meanwhile, he's sort of digging himself in a deeper and a deeper hole. So you have to you have to pay that off. You have to call that back. Every kid uh, at the end of the day probably knows they're not going to get away with it, no matter how hard they try. And that's that that moment in that scene is about Sonic not getting away with it. Okay. Uh, I, I see that this time you've managed to put a lot of great cornerstones of the video game, even, even in the locations sometimes. Uh, yet, uh, given the fact that Sonic's plot uh, in the video game is, we can say, really thin, a thin plot, uh, uh, I, I, see, I can see there's a lot of room for creating and inventing in these movies. What's the big arc in the whole franchise? I see you're teasing the third movie at the end of the second one. So I would like to know what in your vision is the story of Sonic throughout these movies? Uh, just taking very relatable themes, family, friendship, just getting uh, growing up, right? Just that kind of like the rites of passage of being a teenager and trying to find your, your place in the world. Just really trying to pick some very uh, relatable, very grounded emotional concepts that, that are very universal around, uh, no matter where you're from in the world. Uh, and then just layering all these great sort of elements from the games and characters and worlds and action and all that. But the, the, the foundation has to be strong. The foundation has to be relatable, has to be something that uh, characters that you can root for, um, that you can understand, be invested in. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's just a balance. It, it really is uh, celebrating every, all the imagery of the video games, but just telling really great, really, uh, really relatable character story. Okay, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. We can say that Sonic in the movies is uh, young and brave, yet human and relatable. He is cool in a way, but also an underdog in these big dimensional fights. He is smart, but sometimes does stupid things. I'm making this list because <coughs> I wonder, in your vision, what really makes him unique? Because these characteristics are common to several heroes. But what, <coughs> sorry, makes him Sonic? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's all of those things. I think it, the uniqueness comes from how he deals with, with challenges, how he deals with, uh, uh all, all the, the ways he's tested as a character and as a hero. Um, but it, 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 it's all meant to be very, very relatable, very grounded. Um, but honoring everything that, that fans love about the games and the little spiky haired teenager who just happens to be a hedgehog, who's got that rebellious spirit. He's got that optimistic, youthful, manic energy. Uh, it's more about, I think, making it relatable, but with uh, the, uh, the uniqueness that comes in, in the, uh, the, the history of the games, the, 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 the love and the passion of, of the fans, just kind of honoring what they love about the character, but, but, but telling really grounded stories with. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Gabriel. Nice meeting you.